Thank you for listening today on Revealing Wholeness, sponsored by Infinity Whole Health. Check out our website at infinitywholehealth.com, where we are revealing the eternal in each individual, the infinite in the individual. The creativity is made manifest. Limitation is let go. Now, here's your host, Dr. Troy Munson. Welcome, I'm Dr. Troy Munson. And in honor of Father's Day, June of 2021, why not have some bad news? I'm just kidding. This is good stuff. This is things that we should all know. As most guys, we if something happens to us, we just think about rubbing some dirt on it and moving on. But there may be some times when you want to call the doctor. And so tonight's video is, is literally that. I'm not going to be exhaustive in this list, but this is kind of the three anything categories. Anything changing rapidly, anything sudden onset, and chronic anything. Those are the things that we should be most concerned about. So let's go through some of the things that we might encounter on something like anything changing rapidly. So vision. If my vision is all of a sudden changing rapidly, maybe it was bad and now it's actually changing for the better. That typically is something that happens over age that our eyeball literally changes shape and all of a sudden it starts changing back the other way and our, our vision gets better and then it starts getting worse again. But rapidly changing vision could mean that we have something pressing on the optic nerve in the back. Could mean that you're really just deficient in vitamin A, which would mean that you possibly have some chronic infection going in, which is the third category, anything chronic, chronic anything. So vision is something that we want at least to be aware of that, hey, I need to be at least somewhat understanding of, hey, this is what my vision is. And perhaps maybe it's changing now. Slow change, probably not a big deal, but fast change, something we want to look at. Weight, without a doubt, anything changing fast weight, losing weight, obviously the worst, gaining weight, still not a good idea that all of a sudden you're just gaining weight. That could mean that all of a sudden something's happened hormonally and endocrine wise, and you need to have it taken a look taken a look at. But if it's rapid weight loss, again, not so good. Wasting diseases are what we're looking at, and those aren't really that wonderful. So the sooner that you know things, the better. One of my favorite quotes or ideas, back in 1777, Anton Mesmer said, in the beginning, disease is difficult to recognize, but easy to cure. In the end, disease is, is easy to recognize, but difficult to cure. So anything that we catch sooner than later is always a good thing. So when in doubt, you make the call to the doctor. Next, skin. Skin is a big deal, biggest organ of the body. Now, again, I've talked about in other podcasts and as well as videos that skin, hair, nails, joint is non-essential tissue. So, okay, well, it's non-essential, but still the rapid decline of a non-essential tissue means that there's somebody else hoarding and sucking in a lot of nutrients, taking it away from those particular things like skin, hair, nails, and joints. So if you notice that things aren't healing so well, especially joint wise, okay, then you've got a big deficit of nutrition and protein and fats that you should be at least trying to get in your body to start having that spill over into other, other systems. And if you're doing all that stuff and it's still not changing, now we need to take a better look and it's time to make that call. So things like skin discoloration, like jaundice, um, even swelling lymph nodes that you're noticing underneath the skin. Um, all that would be cause for concern. Now, even some swelling, but we're going to talk more about swelling on the chronic stuff. So last thing that we could be looking at when it comes to anything changing rapidly would be cognition. So let's say my mental acuity is going down quite quickly, or I'm forgetting things quite fast, or... I now don't recognize stuff. All of a sudden, you know, like, what's your name? And it's my child. These are things that we want to be making that phone call now. That would be a good idea. Because again, we have something going on here. And again, the brain is controlling everything. So why wouldn't we want to make sure that that particular organ is paid particular attention to? And we need to make that phone call. Now, let's switch categories to anything sudden onset. So first and foremost, ringing in the ears. Now, do I see ringing in the ears often? I do, but it's usually kind of slight and then all of a sudden it gets worse and now it's, 
hey, this is kind of annoying. And again, that is a typical adrenal issue, ringing in the ears. High-pitched ringing, more liver issues, but a sudden onset ring, now we're worried about things like facial, not facial nerves, but the cranial nerves that within our brain, and that can mean tumor. Now, it could be a benign tumor, but still, it would be something that, hey, we, we ought to have your, your hearing checked out and sooner than later. Let's not have issues here. Now, again, we talked about vision changing, but a complete loss of vision very suddenly. Not a good thing. Again, pressing on the optic nerve behind could be many things. Could be a blood issue. Could be a hematoma, meaning you've bruised the blade, the brain. But let's say that you're already bruising easily on the skin. Okay, well, we don't want to jump there, but hey, let's call the doctor. Uh, next would be chest pains. Does it, do we even have to mention chest pains? Okay, so all of a sudden, sudden onset chest pains. Down left arm into jaw. You probably ought to call 911, skip the doctor. But it's nice to know that, hey, that's kind of a heart referral pattern, and I better pay attention. Maybe it's the first time I'm getting angina, so I have sudden onset chest pains, and I need to do something now about my heart. So all those things are likely. Maybe it's chest stuff. Maybe you're smoking, and all of a sudden now you've, you've broken a blood vessel, and you've got some pretty serious pain. Again, time to call the doctor. So chest pain, be cautious of that. And numbness tingling, sudden onset numbness tingling. I'm not talking about a funny bone hit. I'm talking about all of a sudden can't feel anything. And I'll have clients that have spent months and years with numbness tingling. And sometimes it's a very simple, simple, easy fix. But a, a sudden intense onset numbness and tingling, yeah, we want to have a neurologist involved. We want to have somebody that's going to take a, a better look at what's going on in, in that particular region of the body that's now causing that. So don't wait on those things. And then last is difficulty swallowing with sudden onset. All of a sudden difficulty swallowing. Let's say we've got the, the esophagus being pushed to the side because of a benign tumor or a regular tumor. That would be something for a caution. Let's say that you don't realize that the motor vehicle crash you were just in all of a sudden tore some nerve fibers to your esophagus and it's difficulty swallowing. Okay, well, not a big deal, but you probably had to get to a chiropractor, have it managed. That would be wise. But let's say now that the cranial nerve that's going down there has now got something else going wrong with it. And now we've got other issues. Let's say that you've had acid reflux for a long time and now you're getting more and more difficulty swallowing. Yeah, we need to go to the doctor now. We need to have that stuff scoped and make sure that it's okay. So a little bit of insight there on sudden onset stuff. Let's go into chronic anything. So bleeding, peeing blood, pooping blood, coughing blood, not good. Need to go to the doctor especially the more chronic it is. And in the bowels, you know, dark tarry stools, weird looking, that's an upper GI bleed, need to go sooner. Bright red, need to go sooner. Hemorrhoids, peeing blood, obviously not good at all for the kidneys. So little wise move there, blood not good. And so let's jump into appetite. So bowels moving fast maybe, or slow, uh, my appetite is slowly getting less and less, and now it's kind of chronic, I don't eat and I'm losing weight, but it's not been fast. Okay, need to have some work there. Could be hypothalamic or pituitary issues. Could have some issues going on there. Could be pressure, could be blood flow, could be all kinds of things that need to be evaluated. Some of it could be a chiropractic fix too. Don't ever count that out when any kind of thing's going wrong with the body, because what controls the body? The brain. And what has to have clear channels in order to make sure all those tissues are working well? Well, your nerves need to be communicating back and forth to the brain correctly what the body's doing, and that's a chiropractic realm. So a lot of things are solved, even chiropractically, even if it's chronic, the body can turn itself around quite quickly. So bowels moving fast and slow. Want to be cautious about that if it's chronic. So, you know, here we have constant soft stools, maybe some diarrhea. That's usually a chronic internal gut infection, but we shouldn't just simply be letting it go because now dehydration, um, loss of nutrient value can happen. Chronic constipation now creates toxicity, can be migraines now coming on too. So you might be like, hey, I've had migraines and headaches for a long time and I've had constipation for like 20 years. Okay, let's, let's do something about that. Let's not just let continue it, you know, continuously let it go. And that's a liver problem. Can be a chiropractic problem, but again, it's probably liver, probably diet. So some things to do there. Um, any pain, chronic, let's just be real. 
don't continue to let it go on because things don't get better over time. It's like a leak in your ceiling. Hey, maybe it'll go away. You think it's going to go away? Probably not. Hey, my car keeps leaking oil. Probably will go away. Probably not. So again, chronic anything you want to have addressed. You want to have, at least have a couple heads in the game of some doctors and have a team and then be ready to do something. I'm not saying that everything is out there is cancer or something horribly bad, but wouldn't you want to know if you could fix it kind of a little bit more easily than you think? So again, any pain. Swelling. Okay, so swelling anywhere on the ankles. We jumped a kidney, but ultimately that's a, that's a vascular problem too. That's a heart problem. And so kidney heart run right next to each other. So if you're having chronic swelling, it's time to consider doing some things that are good for your kidneys, good for the heart, getting rid of things that are pretty much bad for those organs. So don't wait on chronic swelling. Go for it. And then, of course, tremors. So we're going to end on tremors. We have a chronic, you know, tremor. One of the most interesting stories I've, I've seen to date is a, a gentleman who was in Vietnam and got malaria three times. And he had tremors and, you know, digging into his history years later, finally figured out that he actually had malaria. He didn't even mention it. And I didn't, I didn't ask about his military career because it was so long ago, but knowing about it, we're like, oh my gosh, you, you were totally paralyzed. And I, I just keep thinking, well, I probably should have known that you had malaria. And so it's like, you don't put on your intake form. Hey, have you had malaria? You just don't do it. But again, as, as, as men, we tend to play down things that we've been through. And ultimately, as a physician that I am, it's really important to me that I do know a thorough history. And so some of those things that seem small, maybe aren't. And so when you go into that, that doctor situation and you think, well, they don't have a lot of time for me. They're like totally like they time me the whole time I'm in there and they only cover one thing or whatever. Okay, well then have a list made up and just know your own history and be able to hand it to him so he can read it as fast as he possibly can and then decide, you know what, maybe some of these things are important. Maybe we need to look deeper into some of these other areas. You know what, I want another appointment with you. But when I do a thorough investigation of somebody's history, it's because that each little part actually does mean something to me and it becomes important. Somebody thinks, well, I had malaria. That was way back then. Yeah, but that that still can be in the body. That's something that's still with you. Everything that you've been through in your life has value to me to know and understand as we go through this healing process, we may wake up some of those old things and that would be nice to know to be able to tell you, hey, if you wake up and you are like paralyzed and can't move, don't freak out. Your body may be going through an old malaria infection. Wouldn't that be nice to maybe have a little warning before you freak out one morning because you can't move? but it's short-lived because your body is going through a healing crisis and completing healing in a way that we couldn't have predicted unless we knew your history. So as gentlemen, let us be gentlemen and let us realize that, you know what? I'm important. My history is important. Stuff that's happened to me is important. And you know what? It's okay that if I know that people are weird when they come in and they think, I don't really want to tell you all this stuff because it's kind of boring. It's not boring. It's you. It's your history. It's all about you when you come into my office. So I hope that kind of hit home. I hope that maybe jogs some things. If, if you're not a man and you listen to this and you have a man in your life, and like he's got like four of those things, you can message me. But you know what? You probably ought to message me and call your physician. Say, hey, I just need somebody to micromanage this, this situation with my significant other that doesn't seem he's got like any problems but that maybe I should be doing something to, to do that. So please do that. It is, it is a gift. And you know what? Maybe great health and maybe change comes out of it. And that's a good thing too. To live life to the full, to have a great Father's Day. I hope that all for you. And until next time, I'm Dr. Troy Munson at Infinity Whole Health. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach Dr. Munson at 360-893-8586 or email him at chiroman at dr.com. That's C-H-I-R-O-M-A-N at dr.com. Check out our current workshop schedule on Facebook at Infinity Whole Health.
The information on this podcast from Dr. Troy Munson is meant to educate the listeners.